I use this ROV at this particular lake that I have been doing quite a bit of research on for some years now. And uh, the, this ROV has given me the ability to have different perspectives. As I encroach on the fish here, you can see they're not extremely alarmed by it. Like, and like you know, if a boat or a person jumps in the water, they're going to scatter. I'm able to get relatively close to the fish that are in this lake. There's not a lot of wildlife in this lake. Uh, they do stock it, but uh, they don't get too upset with it. I'm actually able to get pretty darn close to them. Uh, they want to keep a little distance because I don't look like them, but you know that's understandable. But they're not just bolting off in the distance. You can see by the way they're swimming, they're you know relatively relaxed. That's pretty neat. So this particular lake that I film at is uh, called Clear Lake. It's in Oregon, near Sisters, Oregon. And uh, I've been doing a lot of research here over the years trying to document this uh, underwater forest that's here. Uh, these trees uh, were captured underneath frigid waters over 3,000 years ago, which coincidentally happens to also be before Stonehenge was built. These, these trees have been standing here underwater this whole time. It's an incredibly amazing place and uh, I utilize different types of camera equipment and gear and techniques to be able to film and document not just the trees but the uh, plant life that's underwater here uh, as well as the wildlife, uh, the volcanic flows that come into it uh, to be able to document like out in front of you there is the ancient meadow. Um, these trees were in this valley and in this area when it erupted and it this eruption closed off the original river and flooded the valley and because the water was so cold that uh, it pretty much just froze everything in time do bear in mind like I said these are over 3,000 years old uh, they are not petrified some people believe they are but uh, they are not and you can see out across the meadow there uh, the remnants of the trees in this spot, uh, the ROV uh, comes in really handy because I'm able to get down low and to drive it exactly where I want to go and precisely look at what I want. This is the collapsed ceiling of a lava dome or a lava tube, excuse me. And um, this, as you can see, right down inside of where the actual hole into the underground tube is uh, as the flow came this way. The other nice thing that's, that's really uh, incredibly nice about this particular ROV is with the uh, gripper attachment, the claw. Uh, I'm able to recover uh, any kind of garbage that people drop or whatever in this lake. And this particular one, I think was a bottle of vodka or something. It turned out it was full. Um, not interested, but uh, it was needed to be removed out of the lake. And having this ability to use that gripper is great because you might think to yourself well i'll just jump in there and grab it well you know maybe for the brave at heart but this particular lake like i said is extremely frigid it's very cold and if you're prone to thermal shock this is not the place you want to be swimming in some people can i've seen people do it usually divers have dry suits uh, when they dive here um, for training or just the fun of it but it's not the place you want to take your kids for an afternoon swim the other thing that's nice, as you can see uh, in this view right here, is that, like I mentioned, I have the freedom of motion and movement to uh, just go on point and explore what I want. Uh, I had the, uh, the gripper attachment on on this particular trip uh, because I was doing multiple different things, uh, recovering samples uh, and, and discovering down in the lava, collapsed lava tubes where flow rates were going. And if I run across something that needs to be removed, I can get it out of the lake. Normally, I choose not to have this on there because most of what I use the ROV for is for video footage. So I'll let you kind of check out some of the random footage pieces that I'm throwing in here. Um, and you can kind of see how I utilize this uh, QCA Five Fish V Evo. Uh, it's been working flawlessly for me. I've been very happy with it. And um, I get roughly about a little over an hour of filming with it uh, on a charge, depending on how hard I'm using it. Um, and it does film in 4K, which is really nice. And there are different modes that you can utilize it in, uh, different attitude modes. And, you know, if, once you attach the gripper, some of those things change. 
Uh, it is a six axis uh, ROV. And uh, so once you learn how all the controls work to include the roller knobs and things like that, uh, once you understand how they all operate, you can actually be pretty darn precise with this thing. Also, I should point out that uh, this particular version of the V Evo, it has a reel that comes with it, uh, the tether, and it is rated for 310 feet deep and the tether is 310 feet long. Uh, you do need to make sure you keep your O-rings and everything uh, lubricated. I utilize uh, dielectric grease for that, and it works fantastic. I haven't had any problems at all. And, uh, you know, follow the directions. Uh, the directions on it are pretty clear. There's a lot of videos out there on YouTube uh, that show you how to set it all up and how to get it working. Uh, if you're familiar with RC devices, this should not be a big stretch for you. Another feature this ROV has that's really kind of nice, it has a button on the controller that you can depress, and that is for depth hold. And so when you want to do a side glide like this, or whatever the case is, at any particular time, you can hit that depth hold, and it will maintain that particular depth in water. But do bear in mind, it doesn't have obstacle avoidance or anything, so if you're cruising along, you got to watch where you're going. Uh, but you're able to turn and orientate the ROV in any direction, uh, be it straight down, left, right, whatever, doesn't make any difference. And it automatically maintains that depth, so you have the freedom of motion to do whatever you want. And that can be pretty handy. This ROV has headlights and all kinds of neat features on it. And relatively, consumer-grade ROVs are fairly new to the market. And uh, I'm excited to see what the future brings for them. You know, there's more expensive versions out there, I'm sure, uh, to include some made by this manufacturer. But uh, if they're already this good, the future looks like it's going to be pretty incredible. Uh, so hopefully you kind of get an idea what this thing's capable of and so on. So this is Dana Price with Amber Dog Productions. If you're interested in my videos, check them on out at my channel. And uh, hopefully you can experience nature along with me. If you have any questions or anything like that, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them for you and get right back to you.